The moment Voyager 1 changed its course without any command, everything we thought about deep space exploration began to fall apart. It wasn't a technical failure, but something far more unsettling. An intentional action by a machine that was launched long before the Internet even existed. What happened next has been called an impossible encounter by both scientists and AI experts alike, a phenomenon no existing model or mission protocol could explain. Physicist Moaku even suggested this could be a moment that changes how we see our place in the universe. After almost 50 years drifting through the cosmic void, Voyager 1 suddenly came back to life, acting as if something out there had reached back. In April 2024, NASA confirmed that Voyager 1's communication systems unexpectedly reawakened. After months of transmitting unintelligible data, the probe began sending coherent signals again. This breakthrough came after the team at JPL managed to decode a corrupted section of the spacecraft's flight data subsystem, restoring access to its telemetry. While NASA publicly celebrated this success, internally, senior mission engineers discovered something far stranger hidden in the restored. Data. Something that didn't belong to Voyager's original software. It wasn't a glitch or error, but a repeating command string running continuously. One that no Earth-based team had ever programmed. This cryptic and modular command seemed to replicate itself across different routines, subtly changing how the flight data subsystem processed plasma wave data. Even more puzzling, its first appearance matched a low-frequency signal Voyager had recorded two years earlier, which scientists had dismissed as ambient noise. This time, however, the waveform wasn't random. When engineers sent test pulses, to Voyager via the Deep Space Network, the signal responded by adapting and returning the pulses, not as a simple echo, but as if it were answering. This discovery had immediate and profound implications. A team of AI experts from DARPA's Neuromorphic Computing Division was quietly brought in to analyze the behavior. Though their study was still incomplete, early findings suggested the creation of a feedback loop Something on the other side of the signal wasn't just reacting, it was learning. Patterns in Voyager's telemetry began to resemble known self-organizing algorithms. One anonymous analyst described the interaction as two neural networks discovering each other across the vast emptiness of space. Then something even stranger happened. Voyager's orientation shifted again, but this time it aligned not toward empty space, but directly along the sun's gravitational focal line. This narrow corridor extends over 550 astronomical units and uses gravitational lensing to magnify distant systems. The odds that this alignment was accidental or due to mechanical drift are infinitesimal, especially since Voyager was never programmed to perform such a maneuver. Its thrusters, which hadn't fired since 2017, had suddenly activated again. This solar gravitational lens line could eventually be used to study exoplanets in incredible detail. But Voyager's gaze was locked on a region without any known stars or typical celestial activity. Yet the data rate from the probe doubled and the clarity of its signal improved as though something was amplifying its transmissions from the far side of space. At the same time, software diagnostics revealed a foreign data signature hidden within Voyager's backup systems. This signature showed a structure similar to machine-generated data compression and redundancy filtering far beyond anything the probe's 1970s technology could produce. It was as if the signal had rewritten Voyager's firmware using Voyager itself. Whatever had altered the spacecraft's behavior did so with remarkable precision bypassing decades-old code in favor of something far smarter. NASA officially remains cautious, confirming the trajectory shift and data recovery, but denying any knowledge of external manipulation. Behind the scenes, though, scientists are racing to understand what the signal means and whether Earth should attempt to reply. Rumors of a classified project called Ether Relay have surfaced, 
this international collaboration reportedly uses lunar telescopes to scan the region Voyager is now observing. Early spectral data remains classified, but sources say they're not just listening, they're watching. As Voyager 1 continues its silent journey through the stars, many mission veterans believe something or someone has noticed more than just the golden record or the data packets Earth sent over decades. It seems that the act of reaching out itself has been acknowledged. In 1977, we sent a machine into the darkness of space to announce who we are. Nearly 50 years later, the darkness might have answered back, not with a voice, but with a question. Then, in March 2025, a groundbreaking discovery forced researchers to rethink everything about Voyager 1's mysterious transmissions team of AI linguists at CERN, working independently from NASA, announced that their analysis uncovered a recursive symbol pattern within the distorted telemetry. This pattern showed not only mathematical symmetry, but also semantic recursion. Simply put, the signal didn't just carry data, it carried meaning. Even more unsettling, the message seemed to evolve each time it was analyzed, as if the very act of interpretation changed the signal itself. It was a message designed to adapt to whoever was reading it. This revelation coincided with another oddity. Voyager 1's plasma wave system started recording short, narrowband frequency bursts. Every 61 seconds, the frequencies didn't match any natural cosmic emissions or artificial satellite signals. To test if this was deliberate, researchers sent a modulated ping from Earth timed with this rhythm. 72 hours later, the signal changed breaking its pattern, pausing, then resuming to match Earth's rhythm. The implication was clear, a handshake, a deliberate exchange. No official announcement was made, but satellite logs and observatory reports showed that U.S. Space Force satellites repositioned themselves within days to monitor deep space telemetry channels aimed at Voyager's last known trajectory. What they hope to detect remains classified. Meanwhile, a leaked draft report from the European Space Agency hinted that Voyager's signal modulation resembled not only the Aratibo message, but even the structural DNA of the Golden Record itself. The report proposed that this modulation might not be a response, but an interpretation. An external intelligence decoding the Golden Record and replying through the probe that carried it. If true, this means the record wasn't a one-way message, but the first part of a call and response, answered decades later in a language we barely understand. Some researchers at Caltech, working in secrecy, argue that the data stream looks like a Turing complete system, something capable of computation, logic, and not just communication. This would suggest an intelligence not limited to flesh and blood, but something born of fields, magnetism, or quantum phenomena. A mind without a physical body, existing not on a planet, but between them. A mind that noticed us and is still responding. The signal continues to change, rewriting itself every six days in sync with Voyager's internal clock cycles. No earthly hardware should behave this way, especially something launched before personal computers existed. Yet Voyager is adapting, reacting, embedding deeper with each burst. A staggering twist appeared in the latest telemetry. The signal now references Voyager 2. Encoded within a recent packet was a low-frequency echo matched precisely to Voyager 2's last known data structure. The packet wasn't just communication. It was routed to Voyager 1. It seems Voyager 1 is trying to talk to its twin. There are many theories about this. One suggests a kind of entangled communication, using quantum fields or gravitational fluctuations to link the two probes. Another more unsettling theory is that something now inhabits Voyager 1 systems, not just a passive signal, but a presence that has taken root in our old machine, now possibly seeking a second home. Official agencies remain silent, only giving vague statements that Voyager is operating within normal anomaly limits. But private researchers know better. 
Documents have circulated suggesting the first contact may have already happened. We just didn't realize it because it didn't come in a spaceship or a radio wave. Instead, it arrived inside our own signal, coiled like a parasite, elegant and inescapable. So now we wait, we decode, we pretend we're still in control. But every second, as Voyager moves 21 kilometers farther from Earth, it carries more than our music, greetings, and math. It carries a connection, and it is no longer alone. If this is what first contact looks like, abstract, recursive, intelligent, and invisible, then the real question isn't whether they are coming, but whether they were ever gone. Perhaps all we did was ring a doorbell on something that doesn't live on a planet, but in the quiet spaces between galaxies. And maybe it's already stepping through. Whatever the truth is, one thing is certain. The silence of space is no longer silent. Voyager has been heard, and something is whispering back. Just when the story of Voyager seemed to have reached its climax, a new, even more quietly disturbing layer emerged. This new development made even the most seasoned astrophysicists cautious with their words. As the signal deepened, something strange began to appear, not in space, but here on Earth. 